This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross your eyes. All right, 12 minutes into the hour. This is an interesting week. What we're talking about, Kelly Kincaid? Yes, we're talking about acupuncture and holistic living. Today we have Dr. Phil Trajani here. And you know, Sway, a lot of us don't like to go to the doctor. Yeah. And a lot of us like doing things on our own natural ways, Mm -hmm. homeopathic ways. And there is a practice called holistic living. So I brought in an expert. Dr. Phil, the Hi other there. Dr. Phil, to talk about this. Good morning. Hi. Yeah, do, you, do people get you confused with the other Dr. Phil a lot? Well, I think when they see this head of hair and I look like Jesus, they <laughs> kind of make that distinction that I might be a different dude. So. Well, they just bow down and give you tidings? Uh, they might touch the hem of my garment, but <laughs> okay. that's ah, about it. Dr. Phil, ladies and gentlemen. I want a well, Jesus-looking doctor. <laughs> well, we're talking about holistic living. Dr. Phil... What is holistic living for people who maybe not know what it is? It's a good term. That's a good. Well, there's either in, in medicine and getting well, there's either holism or there's reductionism. Reductionism is when you go to a regular doc, the guy with the white coat, and they pinpoint your disease and or whatever that imbalance is, and they they treat it, meaning they want to reduce the inflammation or they want to um, combat the sleeping problem or whatever it is. They reduce it to a certain specific imbalance where holism is is about the whole body, mind, and spirit. That's where the word healing comes from, to Uh make whole. So we're encompassed as a whole human being. We're not just the flesh and blood, we're of mind. And there's a spirit, I believe, which goes beyond all of this physicality. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, and you merge the holistic living with the acupuncture. So, people, Correct. I've never done acupuncture. Right. So, all I think about is needles. Does Ooh. that hurt? Not the way I do it, it doesn't. There's many different ways that acupuncture can be applied. Now, acupuncture itself, I have a licensure to instill a hair like needle, it's about as big as your hair, into a specific point that creates an opening and a pathway. But Acupuncture really is an art and philosophy that at its inception was just about raising consciousness. I was kind of talking about it before the show. There's either we're either in a state of fear, protection, defense, or we're in a state of expression, which is love. Mm -hmm. Which one is it going to be? So that idea when people make that decision to come to a practice, to come to a guy like me, it's about getting into the truth of what's holding back that potential. I happen to do it with a couple of these painless needles. A couple connection points that I might do with contacts in my my fingertips, or I might do it by conversation too. Right. It's it's all the same language. Right. Okay. Can I ask you? A, okay, yeah. so let me ask you this: My grandfather in the nineties, he was suffering from a lot of different things. Yeah. Uh, one of which he had a, a a tear in his heart. Yeah. Um. And um, I remember being younger and the doctors telling him he only had like a couple months to live. Sure. So we abandoned all the Western uh, medicine philosophies and went into the holistic uh, way of thinking mm-hmm. and approaching um, his illnesses. Um, one, of the thing, one of the things we did is we brought in a doctor who I didn't understand what he was doing, but he started massaging his feet and pushing look like buttons at the bottom of his feet yeah. that he said um, each nerve ending leads to a different organ in the body. Mm-hmm. Is that reflexology? Reflexology. Okay, correct. and so as a result of that, my grandfather ended up surpassing whatever limitations they gave him, lived a couple years after that. Right. Um, and we accredited to that that part of the medicine or practice that um, our family gave him. What is reflexology? Well, and how Because I never really understood how it worked. The, the guy was like, yeah, man, if I, this, if I touch you here, yeah, yeah. that'll affect your heart. If I touch you here... That affect your eyes or whatever, you know? right? Well, that's that's a whole philosophy. It's 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 not uh, very different from what I do, but yeah, that's a, that's a a system of where if you look at the if you look at uh, a map of the feet, yeah, if there's a correlation specifically like with the spine, with a certain vertebrae, with an organ, and they believe that the belief and uh, theory behind it is when that's stimulated, that particular system or that particular part of the body gets gets that same innervation that was kind of lacking or or off. Um, and acupuncture would work the same way, but a different, we have a different, uh, uh, system or pathways that, that we do it. Now, if you think about it in medical terms, the body's completely covered under the skin with this thing called connective tissue or fascia. Yeah. And it's like a, it, it's almost like a spider web through the body. So if I'm touching you in one point in your body, there's called proprioceptors and they go to your brain and they create a response. Mm-hmm. And, and that's what we have in the bottoms of our feet and our fingertips primarily. In fact, in acupuncture, reflexology, those are the most dynamic. You know, you play guitar, you can play an instrument. When your feet are on the ground, you know exactly where you're at in time. A lot of information is traveled and expressed back into the brain. 
when that system is clear, the organs and your whole being can't help but but have an improvement from it. So I believe that that can attribute to a longer life and more importantly, a better quality of life. Yeah. When you're, it was your grandfather. My grandfather. Your yeah. grandfather. Him even making a decision to say, you know what, let me try something like yeah. this. It, 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 it's his participation in a new way of wellness that I believe probably had a lot to do with his, you know, that prolonged. With that prolonged. Yeah. Okay. Dr. Phil Trigjani is here. Yeah. Um, and um, holistic doctor, if you want to, you have any questions? Because a lot of people, um, you know, they're skeptical about this type yeah, of uh, practice. Under, yeah, yeah you know, So if you got any questions, you want to challenge him, um, call us. 888-742-3345. All right. 21 minutes into the hour. We played that Trey Song song, Massages. That, yeah, but thought it would be appropriate because yes. we got Dr. Phil here. Yes. All right. And we're talking about holistic living and acupuncture. And I wanted to say, while we've been talking, you know, Dr. Phil, I can tell that you're very spiritual, but... Uh, you have been trained for this. So people who feel like they can poke needles in people, this is not what you <laughs> no, do. No, no. It's you a lot, went to school. A lot of school, yeah. You got it's school. A, it's a tough program. It's <laughs> yes. uh, four to six years. It's a long time. It's great, though. You yeah. are a doctor. So it's not yeah. like shooting uh, heroin, heroin in your arm or nothing like that. Uh, I don't know. I okay. never tried that. Oh, okay. It sounds answer, interesting. Doc. I like poking needles. <laughs> um, Tracy, you had a question for me? <laughs> I did, and uh, I'm a big-time supporter of acupuncture. I understand how it basically regulates our neurotransmitters. Exactly. Right, so it can yeah. help with sleep, it can help with happiness. But I'm wondering, because yeah. we have some sexually challenged citizens, and could it help with a struggling libido? Oh, totally, yeah. I mean, we would look at that in Chinese medicine as it, it's part of the kidney complex. Uh, uh, there could be something lacking, there could be... but. There could be an emotional compound with that as well that, again, we want to bring into a greater state of balance. Okay. But all the time, I, I see something But like you don't that. put a needle on someone's penis. Um, I think that would be horribly painful. <laughs> I, I, I haven't been... No, you no, never there's tried a spot, I, No, there is a okay. spot on the back. It's uh-huh. on the low back that does correlate into all the reproductive organs. Ah, yeah. it's no. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Because uh, we got a, a, a caller from Cleveland named Tanya. Good Tanya, morning. good morning. How you doing? Hey, Tanya. Well, how are you guys? Doing great. Uh, Say hello to Dr. Phil Trajani. Hi, Tanya. Hi there. What's your question? Uh, I uh, <laughs> I am a ovulatory. I do not ovulate regularly, and uh, I was trying to conceive, and my doctor put me on Clomid, and yeah. I did that a few rounds, and still was not able to ovulate. And she told me that I would have to have artificial insemination. And so I wanted to know if there anything that I could do on my end. Uh, I also have polycystic ovarian syndrome yeah. as well. I wanted to know if there's anything that I could do on my end to try to induce ovulation on my own holistically. Well, th- there is. First of all, I would say seek out an acupuncturist in your area where you're at. Uh, also, a trained osteopath is wonderful, and, and a really good chiropractor can help or all three of those people. It's really improving your uterine environment and you know, in the ovaries themselves, and acupuncture stimulates that effortlessly. It's to the point, and it usually happens pretty quickly, especially getting your cycles and then the ovulation back on cycle. That's not saying don't discount what your doctor's saying. It can help enhance that, especially if you're looking to get pregnant. You know, Tanya, are you on social media? Yes, I am. Doc, Dr. Phil Trajani, how can people reach you on social media? Oh, boy, I don't even know. It's on, I, on Twitter. It's Dr. Phil Trajani. It's Dr. D-R Phil, P-H-I-L-T-R-I-G-I-A-N-I. And I'll post this on, on Sway's Universe, and I'll tweet, tweet his information out. Because I think that you're a great uh, person and a great Thanks. consultant. And maybe, you never know, Tanya may be able to get up here and meet with you. Right. And and whoever, you know, and listen, we're never too busy. I just never turn anyone away for a phone call if they need me to, you know, they can call me on my site or right. uh, I email me. I, I'm very accessible. Okay. I uh, am, yeah. Paperboy is in Virginia. What up, Paperboy? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How, you, How are you all doing? Good. Doing well, man. So what would you like to ask of the doctor? Uh, yeah, my, uh, uh, 2014, around Thanksgiving, my mother was diagnosed with lung cancer, never smoked anything, and then uh, moved to a pancreas, moved to a, a, a liver now. And every time they change the medication, it seems to spread, and no current uh, medication seems to work or chemo or anything. And I was wondering, is there any homeopathic remedies that's proven to help in this situation? Uh, okay, well... Homeopathic again. Now that's another. That's a whole other medicine, and 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 
theory and, and belief system, and, which is very useful. But I would say... I would work personally in conjunction with the MD and it's really about, it could be about improving the quality of life with, with what the person has. It's, it's acupuncture is not a cure. It's really about the enhancement of one a person's wellness, immune system, their outlook, their perspectives, which enhances health anyway. So, you know, I would say again, wherever you're at to seek out someone who's confident that they're, that, you know, they're able to work without any expectations really. And then Amazing events have have happened from that. Just that application. I'm glad you said that because yeah. there is a difference. I I, I you just uh, keyed me on. There's a difference between holistic and homeopathic. Correct. Homeopathic is just, yeah, that's a medicine that's a vibratory medicine, usually with sugar or some kind of water or sometimes alcohol tincture mm -hmm. placed under the tongue, and it's a vibration. That's ag mm. again a whole other interesting area of medicine. I not my thing. Holistic yeah. is. I well, you need to that homeopathic uh, yeah. is that, but what is holistic? Well, holistic again can be any medical application that brings about a connection between the body, the mind, the brain, the mind, uh -huh. and the spirit. That which encompasses more than just the physicality. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have John on the line from Texas. Uh, John, what's your question? Yeah, um, real quick, I just wanted to ask about will it help work with neuropathy, like the numbness and and and, and the feet and things of that nature. Um, not necessarily diabetes, but or you know, and diabetes, but what the hell with uh, neuropathy? Ab neuropathy. Absolutely, that's absolutely one of the the quickest and most responsive things because there's neuropathy could be some kind of inflammation in the nervous system. Uh, there could be some kind of uh, it, it could be like an MS related thing where the myelin sheaths are you know there's a demyelination there's not a connection. The acupuncture also it just acts kind of like a conduit. So you're putting these connection points so that the electricity, if you will, that part of the nervous system. Um, a connection can be proffered. It works almost immediately with that. People have great responses, even from one session with that. The idea, though, they may have to have, there may be a dietary change that goes with that quite often uh, and or an exercise program I would instill with that as well. But it, absolutely wonderful for neuropathies or any neuralgia, anything like that. All right, we got Rudy on the line. Uh, Rudy, good morning. How you doing, Rudy? Good morning. Hey, good morning, Sway. I'm shocked to get through. Uh, I just wanted to call. I'm an old friend of Dr. Phil. Oh, yeah, Rudy Curry. Yeah. yeah okay. yes. Hi. Yeah. Martial artist. <laughs> yes. God. Okay. All so, right. How's it going, man? Nice to hear from you. Well, what do you think of the doc, man? Is he a quack or is he for real, man? <laughs> oh, no. He's the real deal, man. Uh, he fixed me up a couple of years ago. And I actually got to make an appointment to see him again soon. Uh, he helped me out with some uh, abdominal distress I had uh, years ago. And his uh, deep tissue body work is off the hook. Deep uh, tissue body work. Up. Oh, Rudy, it's it's a different experience now. You got to come up to my office sometime. This guy's amazing. He's a physical specimen. He's built like a porn star. Oh, oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah. He's, he's awesome. This, he's got a beautiful guy. Yeah. yeah. You noticed yeah. that. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Hey. Rudy, come see me. Call yeah, me. Yeah. And, can, and you can make an appointment. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, wow, this is a really interesting. You got to come back. Oh, and have me any time. Yeah. It's a really you. interesting conversation. And, um, and I think, Sway, so, we're going to go and try acupuncture and report back to the citizens on it. You're all guests of my oh, studio. Yeah. yeah, you're all guests. That's you, what we're doing. Upper West Side. Do that? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I got a porn star thing going, too. I, I could tell. Yeah, uh, whoa. You're like a British mule. Okay. I guess. <laughs> I'm, I'm pulling out, Doc. I'm pulling out. All right. Um, once again, man, this is very interesting. If you want to reach Dr. Phil Trajani, yes. um, this is how you can do it. You can reach him on Twitter, Dr. Phil Trajani, and on uh, uh, Instagram, Dr. Philip Trajani. And I'm going to uh, tweet everybody his information oh. so you guys can find more information about him, about holistic living and acupuncture. Thank you for coming today. Yeah, you Oh, thank you. That was great. Yeah. You had a good time, right? That's, all right. that's yeah, what we do yeah, here, man. Yeah. People feel good when awesome. they come in here. Nice. All right, that's our therapy. And then you guys, reach out to Kelly Kincaid directly. She'll give you the information. You can follow her. You can follow me, Kelly Kincaid, K-E-L-L-Y-K-I-N-K-A-I-D. Thank you, Sway. Thank you, Kelly. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.